a bedtime story about not everyone is nice. This is this is a book about helping children learn caution with strangers. So let's start. My name is Kathy. I live with my mom and dad and my little brother Eric. He's only two years old. We also have a cat. His name is Spoons. We gave him that name because he has a black spot on his back shaped just like a spoon. It's over here. I am in kindergarten. My teacher's name is Miss Roberts. She is very nice. She reads us stories and teaches us all about all sorts of things like science and nature. She also lets us bring in things to share with the class on show and tell days. Some days, my mommy picks me up from school. Other days, I go home with grandma, and sometimes I go home with our friend. I wait on the corner right near the crossing guard for my ride home. I always know in the morning who is coming to get me at the end of the school day. Mommy and Daddy always tell me never to go home with anyone else. Or to get into a car with someone who does not have permission from them to take me home. The person who is going to pick me up sometimes is a little late. When that happens, I am supposed to wait by the door of the school. If the person does not come soon, I am supposed to go back inside the school and tell my teacher that my ride did not come. This only happens when my mommy has to work late, or there is a mix-up. I play in my classroom until mommy comes to get me. One day, I was waiting by the curb for my mom to pick me up after school. She was late. I was about to go inside the school to wait when a car stopped in front of me. The man inside the car rolled down the window. The man driving the car was wearing a funny green wool hat with a pom pom on top. He also had a matching green sweater. He looked like he was a nice person. Is everything okay? He asked. You look lonely or lost. I am not lonely or lost. I told him. I am just waiting for my mommy to come get me and take me home. Where do you live? The man asked. On Grand Street. I told him. That is funny. He laughed. I live on Grand Street too. I did not think. It was very funny, but he smiled and laughed. So I laughed too. What is your name? The man asked me.、Okay. My name is Kathy. I said, "Hi, Kathy. You can call me Mr. Green." He said politely. I am going home right now. Why don't you hop in? And I will give you a ride home too. I bet you know the way. You seem very smart," he said with a smile. "I cannot ride with you, Mr. Green. My mommy told me to wait here for her. I would be happy to bring you home to your mommy. She is probably worried about you. Maybe she is late because she is hurt or sick and." Could not come to get you. We should hurry," he said. "I was worried. Now, Mr. Green was right. Maybe Mommy was hurt or sick. Look," Mr. Green said. "I have some chocolate. I bought it for my little girl. She is about the same age as you. 
You can have some if you promise not to tell her. Her name is Lisa. Do you know her? No, I do not know anyone named Lisa. The man reached out the window to hand me a small chocolate bar. I leaned forward to take the candy bar, but before I could get it, I felt a hand on my shoulder pulling me back. I turned around. It was my mommy. She looked very upset. Who are you? She asked the man. That's Mr. Green, mommy, I said. The man did not say anything. He just drove away very fast. The chocolate bar fell to the ground. I was very sad. Why did the nice man drive away so fast? I asked. It was not a nice man, Kathy. My mom said she promised we would talk about him later at home. We'll just read to here because it's very late. Tomorrow I need to go to school because it's Monday. Big words. Caution. Curb. Guard. Politely. Reading the other half of this story. This is very long. I have to go to school tomorrow.